Well, hello, friends. Once again, we are here in Office Camp for another episode here in Chile. We are approximately about 35 kilometers from the from Santiago, the capital city of Chile. We have an outstanding view of our beautiful Chilean country. Birds are singing, the wind is blowing. So, this is one of my, my favorite places to park. It's a very tranquil place. Only some neighbors, but nothing where we... We don't see too much people here. Chilean chili van and let's do the video okay this video is requested by a new subscriber and he say says why you why you don't do a video of your electrical system so let's let's take a look first of all we are going to start by the engine. So I'm going to open the engine compartment in order to appreciate what is my how it looks my setup here. Let's take a look. Follow me and let's take a look look to to the to the engine compartment of this old van. Okay, give me a minute to hold this thing. Well, this is the engine, it's a diesel engine. Still have some part of the, the old Econo line because this one is a E350. I think it's an E350. But here in Chile we don't have much of these vehicles and it's difficult to know. Okay, so first of all the electrical system. So it's a little windy out here. This is the basic thing, you need an isolator. Oh wow, it's a little windy. Let's take a look here. Okay, so here is my second battery. It's a PowerMeister uh, 200 amps. Okay, the red wire that you see there coming through the battery is the red wire that you see going outside of the isolator. Okay? So that's the main thing, two batteries. And that's that's it. That's very basic. Almost everyone knows, but when I start doing this project, I didn't know anything. I start to see a lot of videos, I start to research a lot, and then I start to work, but never I work before uh, without doing research because don't do that. It's going to be a, a, a very disappointment result. You always have to you always have to research. So okay, we have the 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 the, the engine battery. We have the isolator. We have the second battery here. And now, this battery over here is a 
Give me a minute in order to... Okay, this baddie over here... Is very, very useful. Okay, first of all, we have the... The percent of remaining battery capacity that we have on my laser battery out, out <laughs> down here underneath the bed so first thing is we have 82 percent of um, remaining capacity on the battery but don't forget this you're only going to discharge your batteries up to 50 percent no zero so really i have only 30 percent of remaining battery capacity because when this thing is in 50%, I'm gonna start the engine or connect my van to, or plug my van to charge my battery. So, first thing, the most important, you always discharge your batteries on 50% or depending your owner's manual, manu manual. Okay, so first of all, I choose this battery monitor, it's an NASA BM1 and here I have my voltage I'm discharging my batteries in, I'm consuming in this time 3.2 amps an hour okay this is my discharge rate now 3.2 amps an hour then since I reset this thing I discharge the, the, my battery 22 amps this is since I reset it, okay? Then, here again appears my remaining capacity. And here is, this is very important. It says, time to discharge, okay? I have 50 hours left with this consume. What is my consume? 3.2 amps an hour. If I turn on one more light, for example, let's put the charge into the system or if I... Okay, now you see this thing is variating. So, you see that? I'm consuming more amps out an hour. So, it's going to take less time to discharge my battery. How much time? Let's see. If I press time, I see 38 hours of... Uh, of remaining capacity. But if I have 40, I know that I have only 20. Because I'm going to discharge my battery, it's only to the 50%. Okay? So that's more important thing to know, okay? Another thing that, that you have to know where you're dealing with AGM batteries, in this case I'm using a, an AGM, it's a VRLA battery. One of the most important things that you have to know where you're dealing with that kind of batteries is that you always have to monitor your battery in order to to not not overcharge your battery because these batteries are very sensible to overcharging so you have to disconnect your alternator when you're running and when your power when your battery reaches to 100 percent of of charge you have to disconnect your um, your alter, alternator because you don't want to to fry your battery or you don't want to because are very very expensive. Imagine my my second battery here. That 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 uh, thing cost me more than six hundred dollars here in Chile. This is a very expensive country. Uh, when I see the videos of you going to Walmart and buy a lot of stuff, I have to pay pay. I have to double the price here because it's, everything is is very very expensive. Um. So, you have to take care of your battery, okay? 
how to prevent to damage your battery you have to you need a switch a rocker switch like I have here to disconnect like I say before your alternator from charge your second battery when your second battery reach 100% so let's turn on the engine and see how this thing works okay now engine is running and I want to charge my batteries with this with with my engine running and my alternator so I'm going to okay now I have to now my alternator is charging my engine battery but if I press this button here you know you see that the voltage decreases because you have uh, two batteries connected now and now my alternator when this light is on my alternator is charging my second battery okay let's take a look to the battery monitor to see what's going on one more time this battery is busy here and we have here if you see here we don't don't have again time to discharge this time we have time to charge and this thing shows that now we have if we we set the engine idle in this way we have we have to run the engine for 3.1 hours until we charge the batteries to 100 percent this this numbers here indicates me how much time i have to run my engine in order to charge my batteries to the 100 percent so it's a must to have in your your van when you have two two batteries this is really 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 amazing because if you don't have this you are always blind okay now it's charging and these numbers tells me that the alternator is putting 11.8 amps an hour in my laser battery obviously if I decrease the charge by turning on everything I mean off everything here in the van the time to charge the batteries obviously is going to be if you're going to decrease okay okay that that's the way you monitorize your your electrical system in a van you charge your batteries by AC power or by the engine with a with with the same alternator that you're using it's not necessary to buy a, another a new or a bigger one you can use your 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 brand the same alternator that is in your car if you have any trouble then you have to replace replace it or maybe try to be uh, to to look for a bigger one so when I'm out on when I'm when I plug the van into AC power, I use this battery charger. And this three-stage battery charging charger allows me to charge my laser battery without any issue because it's an a three-stage battery charger. That is what what you need 
when you are dealing with AGM batteries. Why? Because like I said before, AGM batteries are very, 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 very sensible to overloads or overcharging them. So that's, you have to be very, very careful when you are dealing with this kind of batteries because they are very, very expensive and you you know that a good battery can hold for three or maybe four years so I, I'm not going to I, I, I don't want to invest more money because they are especially here in Chile everything in this van cost me the double that you pay there in the United States because United States or even uh, Britain, Britain is, is a, they are very, very cheap countries to buy electronics and all that kind of stuff. Chile is, is, uh, is, is very expensive in some kind of items. So, well, hope you enjoyed this video. We have uh, an outstanding view of the Andes Mountains and uh, in a very very nice afternoon here hope everyone is being safe we are making the best effort to escape the rat race here working in a van trying to live in a van so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you see you on the next video Bye-bye, ciao!